Hey everybody, what's going on? Juan here, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're gonna see part of my incredible journey because I am not in Puerto Rico. As a matter of fact, I am officially on vacation in New York City because it's been a hectic year work-wise. What better way to be able to just disconnect from the world than by eating Italian food, French food. But in addition to that, New York does have its large variety of video game stores. So on this video, you're gonna see my hopeful attempt to go in a little bit of a video game hunt because most of you know that earlier in the year, I did buy myself a Wii U and I love it. And I have about 18 to 20 games in my physical collection. But what happens is that in Puerto Rico, we no longer have GameStop stores. And I know that you have the back and forth conversation about whether GameStop is good or not, but the few times that I have traveled to North America, I've traveled outside of Puerto Rico, I have seen that GameStop does have pretty decent prices for a Wii U game. So I'm gonna be trying to go to all of these different locations, focusing primarily on Wii U games. What's gonna happen? I don't know. I think that this is fun because I've never done a type of video like this. So if you enjoy it and if you like everything else that I'm working on, do consider hitting that subscribe button, hit on that notifications bell, and make sure you go to the comments section and you let me know what is the one definitive game that you will love to buy physically by going to a store. So without further ado, let us begin this incredible journey in New York City and hopefully we get some damn good video games. Before we begin the game hunt, I just gotta say banana pudding is amazing. Now our first stop to find ourselves a couple of Wii U games is a place that not everybody knows about unless you know about New York. And this place is called Book Off. They sell collectibles, movies, music. If you're looking for RPGs or other great games, you can find yourself great copies here, but be aware that the prices that you see here may not be that different from stores online. They have imports as well, so if you're a game collector or you're just getting into this and you wanna grab yourself something outside of the NTSC region, this is definitely a place you have to check out. You may be surprised at just some of the awesome stuff that you'll find, like this box copy of Fire Pro Wrestling for the Game Boy Advance. I actually had this game growing up and I've talked about Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure on the channel and I mentioned that it's a pretty expensive game even without the box, but at $72, if you wanna grab yourself a box copy um, you can you can give that to me. This is both the Wii U and the Wii section at Book Off. They do have a ton of copies of Disney Infinity, if that's uh, what you're looking for, but you'll find Black Ops for 15. That's about the price that it goes for online, so I didn't grab myself a copy of that. They had Twilight Princess for $44, which once again, that's about the usual price, and I've yet to play Wind Waker, so this is uh, gonna be saved up for another day. They had Sonic Boom for $10, or Sonic Boom, is it is it like Guile? Anyway, we Party use probably the game I'm looking forward to getting the most, but apparently it comes with this uh, plastic thing that you put the gamepad on top of, and at 20 bucks without that, I'm just gonna skip on that. Now, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Uh, at 20 bucks, this is probably one of the Wii U games that people uh, really want me to seek out. I feel like after it comes out on the Switch, this version is gonna drop on price, so I'm gonna wait on it. Also, what the hell? This is actually a game I really wanted to get during this trip, but for like five to $10, but $40 for Hello Kitty Cruisers? Is the disc made out of gold or something? Under the Wii U section, they just had uh, Lego Dimensions, Nintendo Land, Sync Party, a lot of these Skylanders games, which I do have one for the PS4, and everything else just really didn't grab my attention all that much. I did manage to get myself a copy of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate for seven bucks. Now, funny story, I originally had another box that I brought to the front desk to uh, pay for, and apparently the disc was supposed to be inside, so somebody actually stole the disc from that version. So whoever you are, if you're watching this, hopefully, you're at least enjoying the game. We're doing pretty good with at least one game for the Wii U. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here at the Nintendo store in New York City with a different kind of challenge. So I don't expect to actually find any physical Wii U games here. There's very much only Nintendo Switch stuff as far as I can see, but they gotta have something to remind us of the Wii U. I'm wondering if Nintendo is so ashamed of what happened with the Wii U, despite the fact that we love it, but do they actually have anything? Whether it be a console, any kind of reference, the history of Nintendo, does it jump from the previous console from the Wii? Does it jump to the Nintendo Switch? Only one way to find out. Ooh, okay, that has nothing to do with the Wii U, but that looks pretty awesome. Bye. 
Bubba Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We actually found a Wii U, people. We did it. Nintendo is not that ashamed of it. At least in some way, shape, or form, Nintendo does fully embrace the Wii U, and it is in no way close to another commercial fate earlier. I visited seven different GameStop stores during my trip to New York City. Some of them were in Manhattan, others were in Brooklyn. This first one was at Times Square and it was the first GameStop I visited in previous trips and this was no exception. They have a Think Geek section if you want Funko Pops and stuff like that, but really it's all about finding stuff for the Wii U. They did have the console on sale, which was nice, and a wide variety of Wii games, but many of them did not have a box art. Now while I was browsing the Wii U section, I did find a couple of options that were not too expensive, all things considered, but I had a few of these games already and other ones are available for a much lower price online. Also, they had this. Now I don't know too much about Wii Sports Club and if it's some kind of rare game, but at $40, thanks, but no thanks. So that first stop didn't quite go according to plan. I'm not gonna buy the first Wii U game I find simply because it's cheap. The goal is to find games at around five to $10, games that I actually wanna play. So now we're gonna make our way over to j &L, a local game store in New York. They had maybe one of the widest selection of games, whether it be PS1, 2, 3, 4, uh, for the Wii U for, and for the Switch, they had a bunch of uh, collector's editions that I didn't even know existed, but because it's one of these stores that's located in Manhattan in the very middle of it, obviously it's very expensive. They did have one of the games that I was looking for, which was the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, the 2016 version for the Wii U, but it was sealed at $100. I was not able to take any pictures of one of the store clerks. The moment that I went in, he saw my camera, he looked down and he made sure he did not take his eyes off of me. No, not that place. No, no, there we go. Let's go to that GameStop. Oh, look at this, Marvel Super Heroes War of the Gems. They have Turtles in Time. So this is one of those GameStop locations where they do have classic games. Ooh, Batman Returns. I've actually played that. I love playing that. F-Zero, Super Nintendo Classic, 12 bucks. This store did have a couple of different Wii U games like Kirby and the Rainbow Curse at $20, but these are games that I can wait a little bit. These are not games that I'm clamoring, that I'm savoring to play right now. Same thing with Tekken Tag Tournament 2. I love Tekken, but I'm not looking to get competitive or playing a lot of fighting games on the Wii U, so that's something I'm gonna get down the line. And for Mario Kart 8, I already have the Deluxe Edition on the Nintendo Switch, and at $20, that can wait just a little bit longer. My wife may have found the coolest thing on any GameStop stop as of yet check these out no these are not four ps1 games for 15 bucks they're actually coasters so you can put drinks and everything officially licensed and they have tekken 2 red racer tekken 3 time crisis I actually played all four of these games so there's a sentimental value hey you know what's better than paying 15 bucks or something you were already gonna buy uh, when they scanned it seven bucks it was on clearance so we haven't really had much luck with uh, Wii U stuff. Really, it's been kind of pathetic, but hey, we got some coasters. Wow, this has not turned out the way I thought it would. I'm looking for GameStop, finding this in New York, New York, New York. Nicole, clearly does not approve of my singing. Hey, hey. I was trying, I was trying to sing, damn it. And after that, let's head on over to the third GameStop. In this location, it did have a solid variety of Wii U games, but most of the ones that did have a box art were anywhere between 15 to $20. Here we have Bayonetta 2. I believe this is the version that also includes the first game, but I've looked it up online and it's actually about 18 to $20 in better condition, so I'll pass on that. They did have Darksiders 2 for $10 and I almost bought it, but I have like four different versions of this game, so I'll save that for like maybe a couple of months down the line. And also just why? $30 people, what? This is not a bad price, I may actually get this one. Oh, now we're talking. The Gold Edition, yeah. If I didn't already have this game, this is a great price for it. It's a great game, highly recommend you play it. Oh, this makes things interesting, so. This game's $4.99, so I could get three more and only spend 10. 
Challenge accepted. Oh man. Okay. Okay, th this could be a contender. I'm not even joking right now. Oh, come on. I already have a wrestling game and that one's past the $5. So I saw that copy of the Mickey game for $5, but then I realized that there's a local video game store not too far from here. So what I did is I hit that copy because I don't think anybody's really going to buy it. So we can go to the other place, see if they have any better deals than GameStop. And then depending on that, I may go back and grab uh, the Mickey game or I'll just buy a couple of games here and be good to go. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, we have Victory. Oh. Oh. Well... So we got somewhat of a deal at this GameStop here, not a wide selection, although they did have more uh, full box copies than other ones, but we got this game for five bucks. This was a game that also came out for the Wii, so maybe it has some more unique elements that the PlayStation 3 version wouldn't have. I had a bit of a weird scenario though, because you know that GameStop uh, doesn't put the uh, games in the case, you know, you, you gotta go ask for them. So when I went to ask for the uh, disc to see the back of it, it was a bit of an awkward scenario where he showed me the disc very far off and you know I'm, I'm not gonna steal anything so I'm just going like hey give me the disc I can check it out and he was trying to find the nicest way of not giving me the disc but not telling me so it was literally this just like so I just began asking him like could you turn it a little it's like yeah check out that disc yeah but he wouldn't really like show it up close so I just like hey it looks fine but it does remind you that other places maybe, uh, I, I don't want to say because of the color of my skin, I'm just going to assume that people do or have maybe, well, I'm just going to say that people maybe have stolen games in the past, but still, it's like there are ways to go about it. You know, I'm smiling, I'm having a good time. Plus, who steals a Wii U game in 2019? Can we just talk about that? Like, if it was like Nintendo Switch, PS4, maybe, but really a $5 game for the Wii U? Come on now. It looks like they all have about the same amount of games. This one has Hyrule Warriors, which I already have. It's a good price if you want to get it. That being said, at least they do seem to have games organized. I think Nicole found something I do want to take home. Here we go, another edition of those PlayStation 1 coasters. Here we have Gran Turismo, Destruction Derby. This was actually one of the first PS1 games I ever played. Rapper the Rapper, this, a, this is a very tough rhythm game, and Wipeout. I love to play Wipeout, the fast-paced racing action. Are you kidding me? I just got this game, and it's going to be part of a new pickups video. $2.99. I got it for around that price. I think I got it for like $4 or $4.50. Regardless, though, uh, this is a game that I believe came out on the launch of the PS3. Something I've been wanting to get are the later... Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater games, the ones from those uh, first years on 360 and PS3. It took a while for me to get these consoles, so I've been curious, but at $15 I've, I've seen and heard a lot about this game. I think that's going to have to wait for a lower price. So things have not been going according to plan. We got the two Wii U games and we have those PlayStation coasters, but come on now, I want just, just a little bit more but in the upcoming location that we're going to be going to, we have not one, not two, but three different game stops. Now, I think that we're only going to have a chance to visit two of them today, so let's see what we can find. Ooh, we're getting fancy now. Let's see what's at this game stop. So this is interesting. It has one of the smallest Wii U collections right now, but it does have the most varied, like a Hot Wheel. World's best driver, 10 bucks. I had never heard about this game. Let me see, Call of Duty goes for 15. Game Party Champions. We can do the uh, hold $5 thing. So, I'm gonna hold on to this one just in case. Oh, I already got this one from the other GameStop. And the search for three other good $5 games has begun. One that I saw here, Sacred 3 for $5. This is a hack and slash game. Oh, damn it. How come so many PS3 games are $20, $20, $15? Now, on the Wii section, Sonic Colors is 10. Ooh, Dancing with the Stars. Fortune Street, I love that game. How much is it here? I spent 20? Oh, huh, look at that. It's actually 15, so that's cheaper than the price that I paid for. 
Mario and Sonic is out of my reach. Oh, what about this? Are you kidding me? I've wanted to get the uh, Wii version of this game for a while. Shout out to the best versions of Silent Hill 2 and 3. That's a joke, by the way. So I have this game for five bucks, and I have two other ones. The thing is, like, this is honestly not a game that I really wanted to get. And the whole challenge of this video is to be able to try and find the best games, the games that actually have sort of on my wish list, right? And have those be part of it. None of these are, so responsibly, I'm going to put them back. This has not really been going all that great, and I was so desperate. I almost bought that Wii U game, which I didn't even know existed or even wanted, just for the sake of saying, hey, I got a third Wii U game in this trip, but that was not the case. I was able to put that away, but my wife, it's like, we're doing this balance where I'm failing on this side, and then she's being very successful in finding collectibles, so I want to show you what she was able to find at this GameStop. If you're a fan of Assassin's Creed, here you have Cassandra from one of the games. Uh, which which game is this? From Odyssey. This is uh, Evie from, from, Syndicate. from Syndicate. There you go. But this is really cool. This is a uh, Raccoon Mario Pixel Pal. We actually have a couple of these. We have Mario from Super Mario World, uh, Laura Croft. I think stuff like this is awesome. So now we're going to walk about 15 minutes to the next GameStop and hopefully there's something happening there because people this is this is failing really really hard but at the same time it does remind you that think about think about how many years PlayStation 2 and GameCube and original Xbox games were available at GameStop stores yet the Wii U it's almost like it doesn't exist we have a lot more Wii games than we do Wii U and I get it short lifespan blah 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 but still show some damn love for it Oh, come on! I mean, they do have something else. They have Pikmin 3 here. But I can find this for about the same price uh, online. Man, this is looking not that great. Like, I'm seriously not thinking this trip is going to make a turnaround. So on the opposite side, they do have a large collection of Wii games. So let's take a look at these quickly. In a couple of years, the Wii U will never exist. Like, it's going to be that thing that people go like, Wait, what? Don't, don't you mean the Wii? What the hell is the Wii U? I'm a nice guy. All I wanted to do was go on vacation, have a bunch of food, and perhaps find a couple of Wii U games. I lost count of how many different game stops I visited during the past couple of days, and I feel kind of bad because for every bad game stop experience that I have, my wife seems to have a positive one, so I don't know about you, but I gotta treat myself a little bit, so screw the whole pickups and, and all that stuff, like, I gotta have myself a cannoli donut, which turns out we bought this from Big Vinny. If any of you follow Food Network, he was a Food Network star. So it's like we're walking around, so something could happen. So this is a cannoli donut with Nutella and chocolate chips on top. It has nothing to do with video games, but one of my top videos on the channel is me reviewing Pop Tarts. So now let's review this, and hopefully, this is better than trying to find a couple of Wii U games. Oh my goodness, this helps, you know? Reggie says that the Wii U was like a failure, forward, forward failure. I'm failing at this video, but my belly's gonna move forward after I'm done with this. Have you ever had a cannoli donut? And now we're moving on to our seventh GameStop. Come on now, please have something. I'm begging you. People, did we do it? Did we finally find a GameStop? with a bigger selection of Wii U games. Check this out. So SteamWorld Dig and SteamWorld Heist all together for 10 bucks. I may get that. And then over here, Call of Duty Ghosts, 15, that's about the average that I've seen somewhere. Oh no, okay, here we go. This is one of the top games that I've been looking for. Mario and Sonic at the 2016 Olympic Games. Oh, let's see. Yup. I at least appreciate the fact that I was able to find it, but the whole thing of this is like to find games at good prices. Can somebody please tell me why Cars 3 is 40 bucks used? Like, this I can understand, but this game for 40 bucks? What? Tank Tank. Huh. I think this is actually cheaper than elsewhere, and I may get this if it's in good condition, 10 bucks. So, people, oh my goodness, I may cry right now. Do you know how many miles we've traveled? Oh! Jackpot, jackpot, 
five dollar game. Nicole, check it out. Twilight Princess is thirty eight, a little cheaper than the copy that's up there. Black Flag is ten bucks, so not not bad. And look at the Wii section. A surprising amount of games with the actual uh, box art. So, uh, Blastworks. Haven't seen this game. Golden at 007. How much? Fifteen. Uh oh. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Ooh. Red Dead Redemption for the Wii, nice. Ghost Recon, oh, 3D high intensity. Oh, I'm gonna get this for $3. It seems like a light gun game. And anybody that's seen my previous pickup videos, you know that I love me some decent to mediocre light gun games. We have two games below five, so I'm definitely gonna have to check out the PS3 section to see what else I can get. Resistance 3, how much is this? Okay, actually got this, it's gonna be part of a new upcoming pickups video and I got it for a cheaper price than that. Tony Hawk's Project Date, 15 bucks, why is this so expensive? We gotta get some more $5 games to complete that deal. Prototype is five, so that could be an option. Squirrel, squirrel, I bought some Wii U games. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Hey, buddy, buddy, hey, I got Assassin's Creed 3 and I got Black Flag, like I'm not the biggest Assassin's Creed fan. Will you please stop? Hey, he's kind of moving like one of them Assassin's Creed characters, actually. I think getting the Wii U games is finally going to persuade me. Hey, wh where are you going, man? Oh, he's doing that grass thing. He's one of them Assassin's Creed fans. Where are you at, buddy? There he is. Oh, snap, he's getting something. And he's gone. Wait, wait. Everybody quiet. This is like a stealth game now. We're going to try and find the squirrel. Where'd he go? Uh, what the heck? What? You know, this is kind of nice. It's Friday, babies are crying, dogs are walking around. We're here in Dumbo, Brooklyn, New York, and it took us over six GameStops, people. Over six. I have lost count. And not including that closed up shop and all that stuff, but we finally got ourselves some Wii U games. And for context, I am going to be working on a dedicated pickups video about a week after this video comes out. Not just highlighting what I've gotten during this trip, but before we left from Puerto Rico to New York, I had a batch of PS2 and PS3 games because I'm working, I'm getting ready for the videos that I'm not just going to be working on this year, but next year as well. But just to recap, because there are going to be some changes from what I just said earlier. So. We managed to get a uh, tank, tank, tank. This is a physical copy. Oh, there's the receipt. Receipt, receipt's still safe, people. But well, we got this for 10 bucks. It does not have the manual, but it does have the game. And the average cost for this game was about 15 bucks uh, for the, the disc alone, looking up on eBay and stuff. So not a bad deal at all. And then I'm gonna spend a little bit of time showcasing these Wii games. Just gonna gloss over. I'll go into some more details on the pickups one. But Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon had shown that. Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Republic Heroes. So these are all uh, a part of the like four for 10 deal. So you see five bucks, five bucks for the blob, three bucks for this one. And then on the Wii U side of things, Assassin's Creed for Black Flag is $10, which I'll get to explaining that one. But then Assassin's Creed 3 was the last one that was part of the 4 for 10 deal. And I know this is objectively like the, the Assassin's Creed game that people hate the most. But I do want to give it a shot, even if it's not the best game. Uh, the only Assassin's Creed game that I've actually played was the very first one. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing this one first, maybe going to the other ones. But I think that after seeing so many games come out, I got to give them a shot. Now this game. You saw that initially I had myself a very nice box copy of SteamWorld Dig and SteamWorld Heist. So we go to uh, the clerk and we're very motivated and it sucks that I did not capture footage of this. As my wife is telling the store clerk, oh, I can't wait for my husband to play this game. He said, uh oh, you shouldn't have said that. So they had the box, but the disc was gone. So I'm just sitting there like, Come on, it's the first game I picked up. I'm very happy at the fact that we're finally getting some Wii U games. My wife is excited, the dude is excited, and then enthusiasm level, boop, it just went down. So we went back. I almost bought that Mario and Sonic at the Olympics 2016 game, which was 40. Uh, going to Easterland, which is a website that I buy a lot of used games at, that goes complete there for $65. So 40 for a complete version here as well is not bad, but really I'm not 
willing to spend over $20 on Wii U games right now because I strongly do believe that the games will inevitably drop, drop price, especially after the new Mario and Sonic at the Olympics game come out. So all in all, I think that this is pretty good. I got all of these games for, let me tell you, I got them for $32.64. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six games for $32. So has it been worth the amount of time that we've been traveling across the GameStops? I think that if I did this alone, this would not be as fun, but the fact that I'm working on this video, it's a very different kind of thing. And it's like that challenge of like going to Google Maps with my wife and figuring out, okay, so hmm, we're gonna go to Dumbo, but which GameStop do we go to first? Which one do we go to last? This GameStop, we were initially gonna go there yesterday. This is the only one that I'm gonna be visiting on Friday, as far as I know. So the fact that it's like, it's the only one, but it's the one that's mattered the most is a really big deal. And this was the part of the trip where I could have sworn we went to every single game store that I wanted to visit. And that's when Nicole kindly reminded me that we had gone to Video Games New York in 2017. And I almost had a heart attack because I was like, what? We cannot leave New York without going there. So we took the train and now you can see what an amazing place it is. In the games here, you'd be surprised. Even though we're in the middle of Manhattan, the prices are really good. You look at the PS2 games, it's like, five to twenty dollars all depends on the quality of the game but oh they have underground if they had the nine greatest hits i would totally get this even though i already have it on the original xbox this was the version that i play growing up need for speed underground now this is easily one of my favorite racing games of all time great graphics great soundtrack uh, just the style the feel the fact that it did have some online components in the ps2 version and check it out ten bucks Oh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Never played the version on Genesis, but I played a lot of the Super Nintendo one. Not gonna lie, I'm getting a little bit afraid though because I'm seeing a lot of great games here, but I'm not seeing any Wii U stuff, so I'm gonna try to look for those first, but then there are very good chances I'll buy something else because this place is simply amazing. Hi, do you have any Wii U games? This is so beautiful, people. We spent hours upon hours walking around, but lo and behold, even though this is not the largest Wii U section that we've seen, it's pretty beefy. You can see Wii Party U, Star Fox, Animal Crossing, Bayonetta 2, Resident Evil Revelations, and look at that, Assassin's Creed 3 was $15 as opposed to five at GameStop. So even though the prices here are a little bit higher, generally speaking, they're not that bad. And the purpose of this game hunting video is not just me buying any single game that we see, it's also knowing which stores we can go to so rest assured if you want to buy yourself some Wii U games Video Games New York is a place you have to check out oh wait a minute we found a couple of other Wii U games and I believe these are actually sealed so holy crap oh wait a minute this Bayonetta 2 it doesn't have a price but I'm assuming it's gonna be somewhere like $60 the Shantae look at that Pikmin 3 for 20 huh but check out some of the selection here. Seriously, you absolutely have to visit the store. Norris Tower, I've heard a lot of good things about that game. I'm gonna cry right now. Almost every game is below $15. Holy crap. This is exactly what I wanted when visiting a video game store in New York. So I'm outside Video Games New York. First up, for the Nintendo Switch, we forgot this came out this week, the Aladdin and Lion King Classic Disney Collection, the 16-bit classics. Now for the Nintendo Wii U. I didn't buy any of the used games you saw on screen, but that, that new copy of Pikmin 3, was catching my eye. I've never played a Pikmin game, so I'm not sure if this is the best one to begin, but I'm happy that I actually got to buy a brand new uh, Wii U game, because I don't think that's gonna really happen all that often. Now, check this out. This is just insane. So, Prototype has chased us through this entire journey. For whatever reason, they had the Black Watch Collector's Edition. Check this out, it's a massive box for 10 bucks. 10 bucks including the game, I don't even know what it includes, but I've never really purchased PS3 collector's editions like games. So when I saw this, 
I asked them immediately, like, does that qualify for the buy two, get one free? They said yes, so hey, I am not gonna complain. Anybody that saw my PlayStation Now review video knows that I played one of the Dynasty Warriors games, and that sort of gave me the itch to play some of these games again, so 10 bucks, not bad at all. When looking at underrated PS3 games, this game kept coming up, and I remember when it came out, it kind of got some flack because people were saying like, oh, Little Big Planet, but racing, but apparently that's like a really good thing. And I could have sworn I had this game, but it turns out I had Little Big Planet Karting, so I did not have this game. And this game, this came out in the first year, and I believe it was actually a launch title for the PS3, Full Auto 2. I'll be talking about this in more detail in the pickups video next week. But <laughs> here we go, yet another game that kept coming up as we visited stores. I said I wasn't going to pay 15 I actually got it for free because it was $8, so because it was buy two get one free, this was actually the lower priced item. So 8 bucks, I finally get to play a bad Tony Hawk's Pro Skater game. And last and certainly not least, I feel like this is a bit of an underrated game. I played The Way of the Samurai games on the PlayStation 2, they are very different. I haven't played this one, but I'm very much looking forward to that. So I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty good. It took us a couple of subway stops, it took us many game stops, but we got ourselves a couple of Wii U games, we got some PlayStation 3 games. But remember, the whole purpose of this video was Wii U game hunting. When you go to a video game store at the end of 2019, which Wii U games can you find? You see that Hyrule Warriors, Nintendo Land, a lot of these games do come up and the prices range between $10 to $15. Personally, I think it is a lot cheaper to go to eBay and buy these lots. The same way that I bought my Wii U with like three to four games and I got the Nico battery pack, I think that is definitely the way to go because a lot of people are looking to get rid of the Nintendo Wii U in favor of the Switch. I think the fact that we have two different Switch models right now means that people are getting ready for the holiday season. They're getting ready for Black Friday. So I think that right now is as good a time as ever to just have eBay, you know, go to eBay, download the eBay app, check that out. Maybe if you're on Craigslist or something like that, you can do that. But if you've gotten yourself a Wii U, uh, let me know. So where are you buying your Wii U games in 2019? Is it a local video game store? Is it a GameStop? Is it Amazon? There are many different ways to do that, but above everything, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I had a blast making it. It's not something that can happen all the time because it's not every day that I go on vacation, but I am very happy that I got a chance to do this. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting on that notifications bell. Luigi's right there. Look at Luigi. You gotta love New York. Can we just say like, New York's amazing. This whole process of working on this video I've seen people curse at each other, yell at each other. Just visit New York if you haven't. But after hitting that subscribe, notification, and thumbs up, up until next time, thank you for watching, supporting, and take care, everybody. It's me, Mario. I hope you subscribe to Player One. Hehe, <laughs> I got it.